So the government is facing huge legal bill following Privy Council ruling in Vibes Cartel appeal. Yeah man, so all of their money there where they make Vibes Cartel and his three co accused lose over these years by paying lawyer and spending all of those millions only for be proven innocent. The government will have to pay back their money twenty to hundred million. I remember this is just legal fee. This is not a lawsuit. So just imagine when the man them forward a road and the lawyer decides say yo, here we go on. Throw it all of them time there. Vibes cartel could have probably make one three hundred million. And them fling a three hundred million dollar lawsuit on the government too. The mafia go pay back every single cent. As me say, this are twenty to a hundred million. It's just legal. It's just legal fee. It's not a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, man. People, what are your guys' opinion though? What do you think? The government now not no lose still, you know. Remember say a hour. Money go pay back their money, you know. Taxpayer money, you know. Remember, you know, so the government them them really not have nothing to lose, bro. Is it? So the article stated that government facing huge legal bill following Privy Council ruling in cartel appeal. So the news team has been informed that the government is facing a multi million dollar legal bill following last month's decision of the UK based Privy Council to overturn the murder conviction of incarcerated entertainer Vibes Cartel and his three co accused in its final order submitted to the local authorities two weeks ago, the Privy Council awarded legal costs to the appellants and their attorneys. The news team understands that the legal bill could be as high as 20 million. Nine attorneys, most of them King's Council, were involved in the case. On March 14, the Privy Council dismissed the murder conviction of Vibes Cartel, whose given name is Adija Palmer, Sean Storm, Campbell, Kyra Jones and Andre Matsus St. John on the grounds of jury tampering. The men were convicted on March 13, 2014 for the murder of Clive Lizard Williams. The case has been sent back to the Court of Appeal for a decision on whether they should face a trial for the 2011 murder. That hearing is now 